All right, Penny. Well, the last time we got a chance to see you, it was uh, in September. I know it was kind of a, uh, I guess, a frustrating result for you. You know, you had the, the win yeah. streak snapped, and uh, I know probably just a frustrating result overall. So talk to me. I mean, what, what, what kind of lessons did you take out of that fight? Well, I just not, not uh, that I don't want to be in a boring fight. And I was in a crucially boring fight and i hate myself for that uh the only thing I, i'm not really thinking about the results it would be nice to be five and oh i'm not gonna lie but i just did not like if the uh, the, the decision would have gone my way i would not be happy i would never want to win like that because i did not look good uh i didn't feel like myself uh, like i won't say that i feel uh that i feel like myself i just felt the rocky was better that night and i did not perform to my fullest and i'm a woman enough to admit that i mean i'm okay i was i'm probably gonna be better the day after but it's like saturday night it was like that night and i did not perform but it's so, fine i, I mean, mean it, was well, it takes, it takes yeah. two right i mean i know you have all the respect yeah. in the world for raquel pennington and she's tough and yeah. she's on a nice run as well but i mean do you put some yeah. of that blame on her as well that hey it takes two people to make a fight either exciting or boring I mean, she wanted to win, and I i guess that was her way to win. But I wouldn't blame her. I wouldn't want to stand with me either. I mean, <laughs> if you look at it that way, just so I was trying to – I just fell into her game, and that's what she's good at. That's what I tried so hard in this camp to not fall fall into. It was her game, but I did not succeed that night. But, I mean, I've been working a lot since that day um, when I got home. Three days after I was in the gym, I was like, this is not going to bring me down. I'm not going to be a depressed fuck. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep on working. That's why I got to be like 4-0 and in, in a year. So, Very nice. Uh, I did want to ask you uh, health-wise. You had some eye issues after the fight, right? What uh, what, what happened there? I don't, I don't know what it was. I can't say if it was something on my part or on her part. I'm... I'm not really, um, I can't remember, so I, w I don't want to say that it was. Uh, but it's all good now. I mean, I, I thought it was worse, but I'm, I'm all healed, and I have no issues with that. Nice. Was that scary at all? I mean, I think, like, you know, eyesight, obviously, that can change a career instantly, right? I was kind of blind for a few days. <laughs> uh, but not like, not like um, the, it wasn't, like, super dangerous. It was just that, it hurt so much that I just didn't want to open my eyes. But wow. uh, I checked it all out, and it was nothing, you know, nothing bad, and it kind of healed. So I'm Fantastic. back to training. Yeah, Great to hear that. So talk about what the focus has been. You said, you know, that whole camp, the goal was don't fall into her game plan. You fell into her game plan. Um, yeah. what, have you, what have you been doing? I mean, I, I, you know, I hear fighters say a lot of the time when you're not preparing for a camp, that's when you can actually get better as a fighter. So what's what's the focus been like for you? That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to be uncomfortable in, uh, uh, in a lot of positions, like trying to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Can you say it like that? And try to like learn new stuff. Because last year I was basically in camp the whole year and I didn't really learn that much new stuff. So that's what I've been trying to do this uh, right after the Rocky fight. I've just been like training on stuff that I feel uncomfortable in. And, you know, being like new at something, being like not being the best at something is pretty hard. But uh, that's what I've been trying to do and just like build myself up, you know, and going back to my strength and conditioning, like pretty heavy training. Uh, that's not not something I'm I, I'm doing in camp. So uh, just nice. working on new stuff. I'm, uh, I'm actually um, I moved out a couple of months in the woods. Like I just said, <laughs> I'm from kind of a, uh, I'm from the south of Sweden. It's pretty, it's a pretty big town, uh, but I moved five hours away uh, into like the forest <laughs> uh, and I rented a house in the middle of nowhere. And uh, when I talked to my manager about it, I'm like, yeah, they, it could be wolves here. He's like, you don't have a gun. I'm like, no, why would I have a gun? <laughs> He's like, I would never be around wolves without a gun. I'm like, no, that's so American. <laughs> um, so I'm living out here, <laughs> training with my other training buddies uh, from around here. And, uh, and I have one of my coaches here as well. So, you know, I'm living kind of the rocky lifestyle here. 
was, so yeah, that's what I was I'm trying right now. Was, was that kind of the yeah, influence? Is like this slowly, rocky, like get out there. <laughs> It is, and 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 I mean, if you look around here, it's just snow and just like woods and everything. So it it got this like because after the fight, I got this like um, I got so motivated, like Rocky did after the first fight and after the Cover Lang fight. So I'm super motivated to get back in there, but I just needed my space a bit because, like I say, I live in a big city. I used to train in Copenhagen for nine years, and if anybody been in Copenhagen, it's pretty messy. And it's a big town, a lot of people, but now I have nobody around here, so it's pretty nice. That's crazy. Uh, I saw you training with the Swedish national team, right? Is that something that you've done before, or is that new? I have a couple of buddies there uh, uh, that are still amateurs that have been training with them. But um, I, I was teaching them um, a class, and then I was just like hanging around and watching them do their like physical tests. I'm like... Wow, if the national team was existing when I was fighting amateur, I would be a fucking beast. <laughs> no, that was just fun just hanging around with them. I have a couple of girls just coming in and visiting me and just helping me with training. Uh, so, yeah, cool. that was fun. Yeah, they're, Very cool. they're so good. Well, I know you're ready to get uh, back in the get in the cage for yourself and not just yeah. training. I, I I saw you calling for a fight with Misha Tate. I thought that was pretty interesting. What what it was it about the fight with Misha Tate that intrigues yeah. you? And is that still the one you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we both lost to Rocky, right? And uh, I mean, if you look at the ranking, there is nobody left than me and her that's not injured, been pregnant, are pregnant waiting to deliver, injured, or already matched. So if you look at it, I mean, why not? And um, it, she just said no to Aspen Lad. So I'm not seeing that many choices for her either. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, if she doesn't want to fight Aspen Lad, I mean, I don't see any other girls out there. I mean, I don't see any other possibilities, if you can name one, of course. But I don't see anybody that she hasn't already fought. Or lost against or just won against. I don't know. But um I just think it's a good match. I'm like I'm I'm like this. When I got into UFC, that was like that was the goal of my life. Okay. But now when I'm there, I don't want to waste time. I mean, I just want to fight. I mean, I just turned 30. Maybe that's like a crisis thing, but I just feel <laughs> like I want to fight. I just don't want to wait it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. So what do you think about her as an opponent? Obviously, she's, you know, former champ, a big name. Um, but her last fight, she was a little flat in that fight as well, I think. So what do you think about her? Like, when you look at her, what do you see as an opponent? I mean, I always respect my opponents, like, highest level, because this is what we're doing is the highest level. Um, but I've been a big fan of her for many years. I mean, I've been following her career. Uh, I feel that, I mean, if she, she when she came back, she said she wants to be champ. She just don't want to just fight once and just be done with it. But if you want to be champ, then you have to go through all of us that have been here when you went away, that worked our way up and everything. So, but... So that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, she's a bit of the old generation and I'm a bit a part of the new generation, but still like veteran. <laughs> uh, so I, I just think it will be a good matchup. And just like I said, she lost to Rocky as well. And uh, I mean, I see it being a great step for me in this division. Uh, I feel that I can get back on track and erase my my loss against Rocky when I win this fight. And then, I mean, she doesn't want to fight Aspen. I fight Aspen after I beat Misha. No problem. There you go. Got it all laid I out. It. I, I, I yeah. like it. I like the idea. What, uh, I guess, ideally, are you looking at a date on the calendar? Is there time when you want to get booked? I mean, I'm, I imagine you don't want to sit around and wait for her if she's dragging her feet. So no. what's when do you want um, to fight? Marsh. And I heard she wants to fight in Marsh as well. I mean, I'm I'm planning it all out for her. <laughs> it's all perfect, <laughs> and for the matchmaker. So I don't know, and uh, and I mean, it's been a lot of talk about this Aspen thing, and I just think the focus has been like not on the right stuff. I mean, her focus has been on Aspen's uh, uh, the relationship uh, training. I'm like, forget about that. You don't want to fight her. Fight me instead. I mean, I don't want to sit and like hear about like what people think about other people's relationship and fighting and coaches and everything. I just want to get this going. So, 
I like it. A respectful call out. And as you said, it makes yeah, sense definitely. on the schedule, makes sense in the rankings. It just seems to make sense, right? I mean, if it's in the States or if she wants to come to Europe, I don't think she ever fought in Europe, actually. And if it opens so up, I mean, why not? But I mean, I'm no, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always been fighting in the States anyway, so I have no problems coming over to I was going to ask you, you said March. I mean, we keep hearing about London. Obviously, the world can change yeah. in a second with everything that's going on. But if London happens, would that be ideal for you? Yes. I mean, I can't wait to fight in Europe again. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for them to come back to Sweden. I have not fought in Sweden for the UC yet. So we need to make that happen I'm as well. Waiting. Stockholm's a great place. The, the Ericsson Globe, there, a beautiful facility. I mean, we had some crazy fights there. I mean, imagine having Kamzat on the card, having me on the card, Hermansen and everybody else. So that will be ideal. But, but, but I will, I will come to the States. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. As long well, as listen, she I... says yes. <laughs> I love I mean, it. I well, we'll put it out, it out twice there. now. So she's, twice. She's, and this is number three now. <laughs> she's got to take it now. Yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, she's got to take it now. I mean, um, if if you, if you look at the rankings, you can't see anybody else, right? I mean, Not really. If you, if you look at the youths, no. And if we're going to talk about the rankings, I think it's bullshit, though. <laughs> <laughs> the UC ranking doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense. I think I should have thought about this, if we have time. I should have thought about this the other day when I was, like, driving or something. I was like, if you're not active within a year, I don't think uh, – I think when it comes to the rankings, it doesn't make sense because people can be n not be active for years and it can still, still keep their spot while other people are super active but they don't really go nowhere. They don't go anywhere. So I just think there would be – it should be like a one-year limit. If, you don't, if you're not active within a year, I don't think you should be able to go up you should just be going down. But I, that's just my opinion. So, so I, I guess ideal. Uh, what does this year look like for you? I mean, you fight in March. I mean, is this another year where you want to fight a bunch of times? I and mean, you laid it out, uh, Misha, Aspen, that'd be pretty successful. But what does this year look like for you? No, I want a title fight after the Aspen fight. When I went over Misha and, and Aspen, I want a title fight. There's no other way. Like, I, I had a busy year, and I, and, I, and I beat a lot of good opponents. And, yeah, I lost my last fight, but I still have a good good record coming in for this year. And I just feel like with two wins over those two girls, that's a good – I mean, that's two good girls to win over to get a title fight. I mean, if Pina can get a fight over, over – a title fight over one win – I mean, I could, I could get these wins, and I could go for a towel run. Absolutely, 2022. Why not? I love it. All right, Panny. Well, we'll see yes. how it plays out. Hopefully, it starts with this Misha fight. Hopefully, it happens in London. That'd be awesome to see it there. That'd be a, a great be opportunity. Awesome. We'll see how it all plays out. In the meantime, we'll uh, we'll let you go back to your rocky lifestyle. Any any last messages for the fans out there that are uh, waiting to see you get back in there? Uh, no, nothing. Just uh, thank you so much for following me, and uh, please push for this fight so we can get another like European versus American uh, fight on the card. Uh, and hoping to to start this year like really good and uh, positive, and hoping to get a really good year with good fights.